and we'll just do some subtracting. Okay. So we've got three dollars seventy four cents subtract one dollar thirty nine cent. Okay. So we've got to line up the cents, the tens, and the dollars, or the cents, the dimes, and the dollars, basically, right? So four take away nine isn't going to work. So I've got to um, borrow from from this guy. So um, he be, uh, this seventy cent here becomes sixty cent, and I'll put a one, a ten over here to add to that four to make fourteen, right? So now fourteen. So this is fourteen. 14 subtract 9 is 5, okay? And now I use 6. 6 subtract 3 is 3, right? And that's all done and dusted, so I can just go 3 minus 1 is 2. And so the answer is $2.35, right? So press pause and do this one yourself. Or you can race me trying to do it faster than me, whichever you like. Okay, just try it though. Try it by yourself, see if you can get it. So it's fifteen dollars thirty-four cents. So we've got the cents, the dimes, and the dollars, and the tens. I guess you could call this. Anyway, so fourteen subtract five isn't going to work. So I have to borrow from here. So that thirty cent becomes twenty cent and one. Um, uh, a dime goes over to here to make fourteen. So instead of thirty-four, I actually have twenty plus 14. Does that make sense? 20 and 14 is 34, isn't it? So I've split it into the 20. See, this is in the tens column, or the tenths column, the dimes. So 20 cent and 14, right? So 14 subtract 5 is 9. 2 subtract 7 isn't going to work. So I've got to borrow from here. So he's going to become a 4, and I'm going to bring a, a, a 10 from here over here, right? So now 12 subtract 7 is 5, but then the decimal point underneath it. Decimal points always line up underneath each other. 4 subtract 8 isn't going to work, so I've got to borrow from here. That becomes 0 and the 1 comes over, so this is now 14. 0 and 14, so 14 subtract 8 is 6, right? So $6.59. Okay. Okay, so. Um, See what happens when you do this. 7.2 subtract 1.38. How, how are you going to line this guy up? Okay, let's see. 7.2 and then 1.38. Trick is make sure the decimal points are underneath each other, right? We're going to subtract now, right? And once again, yeah, we should really put a zero in there in that empty space. See that empty space? Let's stick a zero there, okay? Sticking a zero, right? Okay, so now when we subtract, zero subtract eight isn't going to work. Do we have to borrow? Yep, so borrow from the two, that becomes a one, and now a, a ten comes over here. So this is, this is basically a ten, and and you bring a ten over here. Ten and ten is twenty. So I bring a ten over here. Now this is, this we got, uh, the ten and zero was just ten, so now ten subtract eight is two. And now we try to do 1 subtract 3. That's not going to work. Got to borrow from the 7. It's going to become a 6. And you're going to bring a 1 over here or a 10 over here. Um, 11 subtract 3. 8. Put the decimal point underneath that. 6 subtract 1. 5. Okay. Okay, so by all means, press pause and try this guy. 23.04 minus 5.99. Okay, now we'll try it. 23.04 minus 5. Decimal points underneath each other, right? Decimal points underneath each other. Like that. Okay. So we'll try 4 subtract 9. It's not going to work, is it? So you got to borrow from here. But there's nothing to borrow from there. Okay, so I'm going to go back over to here. Okay, you got to borrow two. The borrow from here uh, to bring it over to here to make that a ten. Okay. 
and um, now this 10 that's going to become a 9 right because you got to bring a 1 from here again to come over to here to make this 14 right so 14 subtract 9 is um, 5 and then we have 9 subtract 9 is 0 right that's the only point 2 subtract 5 isn't going to work so I've got to borrow from this 2 that becomes a 1 and put a 1 over here so now we have 12 12 subtract 5 is uh, 7 and then we just have this 1 here okay so 17.05 and we'll check that just going to add the 5.99 back again see if that works out 5 and 9 14 carry the 1 1 and 9 is 10 carry the 1 6 and 7 is 13 carry the 1 1 and 1 is 2 2304 yep so that worked out right okay so some more practice with that type of thing what are you going to do with 45 subtract 0 0.087 and by all means you can race me and try and do these faster than I can no problem um, or you can press pause and try them or whichever so it, but this one like press pause and see if you can figure this one out at least write, write it out press pause and see how are you going to write this one out you're going to okay we're going to go 45 needs to subtract 0 0.087 because the decimal point for 45 is right here 45 is the same thing as 45 and no cents 45 dollars is like 45 point zero zero isn't it of course you can put another zero over here as well wouldn't matter 45 and zero thousands right now we're going to subtract okay so we've got to go zero subtract seven that's not going to work so I've got to uh, borrow from here well I can't borrow from there got to borrow from here can't borrow from there got to borrow from here then right so that five becomes a four and one of them comes over to here that becomes a ten okay but um, so so but but I have to borrow over to here so I'll turn that into back into a nine and put one over here but now I still have to borrow for over here so I'll turn that guy into a nine and put one over here there we go and now we can do it so ten minus seven is three 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 0 is 9, 4 minus 0 is 4, and then we have 4. Okay? So that seems that would that that seems like it's correct, isn't it? Forty-five dollars subtract um, 0 0.087 cents would be you know four dollar forty-four dollars ninety-one uh, cents and then and three thousandths of a cent, let's say, right? Okay, so let's try this. 9 minus 0 0.145. Press pause and see if you can do this by yourself. Okay, now I'll try it slowly so you can keep up and by all means try and race me. Do it faster than me if you can. So you've got 9 and then this is 0 0.145. We're subtracting but I must turn the 9 into point zero zero zero, right? So when I try to subtract 0, subtract 5, that's not going to work and I can't borrow from here and I can't borrow from here because that's not going to work yet. okay, because that's a 0 anyway so I've got to start borrowing from here, that becomes an 8 and I bring 1 over here, that becomes a 10 um, but I've got to borrow over to all the way to here so I'll turn that into a 9 and put one over here but I need to borrow over to here so I'll turn that into a 9 and put one over here right put one of those units over here so now the 10 minus 5 is 5 9 minus 4 is 5 9 minus 1 is 8 8 minus 0 is 8 so eight dollar eight five five right So press pause and try this one, 30.03 .03 minus 3.3. .3. OK, 
Okay, now I'll try it. So you get 30.03, and then you got 3.3, .3 and we're subtracting. And you know what? I'm going to put a zero here for a placeholder. Right? So 3 minus 0 just gives 3. 0 minus 3 isn't going to work. This 0 minus 3 isn't going to work, so I've got to cross this off, turn them into a 2, take one of those units over here, so this is 10. But I still have to borrow over here, so I'm going to turn that guy into a 9, take one of these units and put it here, right? So 10 minus 3, 7. Decimal point goes down here. 9 minus 3, 6. 2 minus nothing, 2. 2673, right? So press pause again if you like and try this one yourself, see what you come up with. Then I'll go over it with you. But I mean it's most important that you have to try these because otherwise it's just you know, worry that you can't do the homework. Well you need to try this stuff on the video where you have actually have a chance to, to catch your mistakes and learn. So please, you know, try this yourself, press pause and try it, then I'll do it slowly, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna do it slowly now and I hope you've tried it already. Um, 1 minus 4 isn't going to work. I've got a bar from here. Turn that into a 2. This becomes 11. So 11 minus 4 is 7. Okay. So 2 minus 8 isn't going to work. Got a bar from here. That becomes a 1. Bring another 1 over here. Right. 12 minus 8 is um, 4. Right. Now, 1 minus 6 isn't going to work. Got to borrow from here. That becomes a 4. Got to bring a 1 over here. 11 minus 6 is 5. That's one point underneath each other, like that. 4 minus 6 isn't going to work. Got to borrow from this 4. It becomes a 3, right? 3 and uh, the uh, 1 comes over here to make that 14. 14 minus 6 is 8. 3 minus 7, 7 isn't going to work, got a bar from the 5, that becomes a 4, and a 1 comes over here, a 10 comes over here for this unit, so 13 minus 7 is 6, right? And 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, so let's. I'm just quickly going to check that, and you can always check your answers, especially on the test if you need to. Just add that back up again and see if it works out. Just going to quickly add that together, see if it works out. Um, uh, let's see, 7 and 4 is 13, carry the 1, uh, 9 and that's 13, carry the 1, and then we have 12, carry the 1, decimal point down here, 15, carry the 1, uh, 14, carry 1, 5, so 5, 4, 5, oh my mistake, 7 and 4 was 11, silly me, 7 and 4 is 11, carry the 1, right, there we go, not 13. So yeah, four five. Uh, sorry, five four five point two three one. Five four five point two three one. Yep.